First at six, the wait can feel like an eternity, and if you don't get to the driver's license office early, you may not get in. Calling to get a question answered can be just as time-consuming and frustrating, but as KXAN's Wes Rappaport explains, the Texas Department of Public Safety is now under scrutiny and pressure to do better. A couple hours, the longest part was waiting. Those pesky wait times for 20 million Texans who have driver licenses or ID cards can be frustrating. Needs improvement. <laughs> The Sunset Advisory Commission that oversees state agency effectiveness says DPS should close low-performing driver license offices and invest in basic technology to improve customer service. The commission also says the process is confusing. Dalton Hahn says a one-stop shop would be helpful. He just moved from New Mexico and showed up to the DMV. That's how it works in 42 other states. I went to DMV over, over there across town and they're like, no, you got to go to DPS. And I was like, all right. Right now, the DMV handles car titles and registration, and DPS handles driver licenses. The report suggests DPS work with the DMV to decide whether to hand off driver license responsibilities. You wouldn't have to go to different places. The DMV does your titles, it does your registration. It's all right there together. So if you need a new ID and you need to register, like re-register your vehicle, it's the same thing. We're all right there. You don't have to go over here and then go over to the DMV and it's just a little bit simpler. In a statement, DPS says it will issue a formal response by the required May 10th deadline. A spokesperson tells us the department looks forward to working with lawmakers to, quote, fill in important gaps. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. This is just the first of three reports that will come out during the Sunset Review process to give the agencies and the public a chance to weigh in. And the Sunset Commission's initial report also calls for DPS to transfer oversight of the motorcycle safety program to the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, which is already in charge of driver education and safety programs. Most of the $16.8 million motorcycle education fund comes from a portion of motorcycle license fees. In 2017, the program spent $2.3 million, but the report says DPS spent $525,000 of that, subsidizing private motorcycle safety training course operators with learning materials, helmets, traffic cones, and hundreds of loaner motorcycles. In all, the report says following all of its initial recommendations could save the state $463,000 a year.